Hi everyone, I'm Tim Von Rieden with CGCookie.com and in this tutorial I'm going to do a first impressions of the software Mischief. Recently we've gotten in contact with the creator of Mischief and they asked if we could do sort of like an introduction to Mischief slash first impressions video so that we can give the full analysis on how similar it is to other softwares as well as how comfortable someone that might be familiar with digital art might be and then other things that we may notice that are pretty cool are some things that we may not like as much. So who knows what this video is going to entail, but let's go, go ahead and get started. So the downloading and installing process took maybe 30 seconds, so it was very quick and it made it easy for me to just jump right into Mischief for the first time. And when I clicked on it to open it for the first time, this is exactly what came up. And instantly I recognized how simplistic the design was, mixed with a sense of familiarity coming from Photoshop in that the canvas is the prominent area of the screen, but the sidebar here is kind of a mashup of the tool menu bar and the floating windows that are in Photoshop. Now the big difference I noticed was how stripped down Mischief felt in that it didn't have any fancy filters or blend modes, but it really captured all the essentials that a drawing and painting software should have. So after checking out the top menu bars and just giving a see to what is under them, I wanted to go ahead and get started in drawing. But as soon as I moved my mouse over the canvas, it disappeared, and it gave no indication as to where my brush tool was. But I found out you can change that in the preferences. Because otherwise, I wouldn't know where my mouse is unless if I push down on my tablet, giving me an indication as to where it is. So you can either go to the top menu bar, or I figured out if you right click, it also gives you that the entire top menu bar at your fingertips wherever you clicked. So under the mischief preferences, it's very basic and it gave me a clear indication, okay, your cursor says none, and I'm going to go ahead and change that to pen. Now under that, it has a freehand curve smoothing feature. And this is something that is available in Photoshop, but not if you have a Mac. So I was really hoping that this would be the smoothing feature that would make it so that when you're drawing, your lines wouldn't be jagged if you have a slightly shaky hand or if it's very hard for you to make line art which I know for me has definitely been a difficulty. So I was really hoping that that would be that feature. And lo and behold, it was. So it was really nice to be able to kind of use it for the first time. And that was a really cool feature that I didn't know came included in Mischief. So before I got started on drawing, I wanted to give myself some kind of an idea of what the keyboard shortcuts are as well. And I found out you could do that if you go under Mischief, Shortcut Keys and Tips. And it, give, it pops up this little menu that gives you an indication as to what the different keys are. And it's pretty standard, and a lot of them are the exact same as Photoshop, so it was very easy for me to kind of jump right in. But the one thing I did notice is you're not able to change any of them, and that is definitely something that could be changed in the future. But as of now, they're pretty much locked in, and if you can memorize this little short menu, it'll make it a lot easier for you to go about using the software. And as I got started in the drawing, I was treating it like I was in Photoshop. So I wanted to go ahead and create a new layer off of the background layer. So I went over to the menu down here, and I kind of just guessed and test what each of the icons were. And for the most part, they're pretty visually easy to interpret. So the plus sign is adding a layer, the trash can delete a layer. So I was able to pretty much pick that up pretty easily. And I also noticed that the slider bar for the opacity was no longer a slider bar, but you just kind of point and click which I thought was a pretty neat feature that it's always up and it only corresponds to whatever layer is chosen. So for now I'm going to keep both layers at 100%. And then I went upwards to select a brush for starting to get going. Now as of now these are the only brushes that I could find that are offered as kind of the standard brushes for Mischief, but they're more than capable of creating whatever you need. So the one that I kind of went to first was the one that looked most like the Circle Hard Edge brush. And I wanted it to also have some of that opacity to it, depending on the pen pressure. So the one thing I did notice is it doesn't really give you an option of the softness of the brush, but it does give you the option of editing the width and the opacity of the brush. But besides that, it seems like these are the only features of the brush as of now, which seems a bit limited. But since this is such a new software, that is definitely something that could be subject to change and have more features added on later. Now the one thing I really thought was cool was next to current pen, it says paper. Now I wasn't sure what that meant at first, but if you click it and then choose inside of here, a whole bunch of different real life physical copy paper comes up. And if you click one, it'll appear as your 
canvas background for the most part. And I thought that was a really neat feature because for me, I like having that visual aid. So even when I'm drawing, it's nice sometimes to give indication as to where, you know, things meet up or things are on the same level. Or even if you just kind of visually like drawing on paper where it's less intimidating than a blank white canvas. So this is probably one of the coolest features I found besides the smoothing brush. And this is something that I would use probably for every single drawing that I would create in Mischief. So I'm going to go ahead and let's create one on a basic paper like this. So then you just click OK and it's there. And then from there I did notice that you can change like the strength of the texture and even the color. So if you wanted to draw on a slightly tinted almost clay looking background so you can really pop out like your highlights and stuff you can go ahead and do that. Now when you click back to current pen then that's when you get back to drawing and it doesn't affect your actual layer. So if I hide my layer the background paper is still there because the paper itself can be turned on and off whenever you want. It's just kind of a helpful thing for you to keep open if it visually kind of helps you. So from there, I did a quick glance over on the different tools that are offered, and it has the basics from a selection tool, brush, shape tool, eyedropper, but the zoom in and zoom out feature is probably arguably what Mischief is most noted for. And that's because Mischief works very much like a vector-based program where most digital art softwares, including Photoshop, work on a pixel base. So Mischief has a crazy number, I think it's like 50 trillion to one zoom, which means I can zoom in on any painting I do and I can continually to zoom in and it will never pixelate. So to kind of show that, why don't I go ahead and zoom in on the spiral here. And you can see how the edge will never start to pixelate and it's just as clean as it is each time we zoom in. Now, if you ever get lost or you feel like you're not sure how many times you zoomed in or if you're too zoomed out, you can always just go to edit and you can do that on the top menu or if you just right click and go to reset canvas view and it'll put you in that very starting position that we created the spiral in. So now if I go ahead and undo that spiral, I can kind of show you guys what I meant with that smoothing option that I turned on earlier in the preferences. So the freehand curve smoothing if I change that from default to, let's go with the smoothest, I'll kind of show you guys what that will affect. So I'm going to choose a solid brush here. Make my brush size bigger. And you can do it with the brackets on the keyboard, like in Photoshop, or you can also click on the left side here and change it that way, the same way that we can change the opacity on the layers. So let's say I was drawing a circle and if I went really fast, you can see how sometimes my brush will go outside of that circle, but it will immediately be pulled right back into that circle. So here's a great example. You can see like how crazy it gets, but it smooths it out. So if you're like me, this is a great feature for you guys to experiment with and be able to create smooth lines without worrying about how jaggy the edges are or worrying about how smooth it's looking in the end. Because the great thing about that smoothing feature is it kind of does all that pressure for you. So I know for me when I first was kind of messing in mischief, this was just fun for me to just kind of doodle and have fun with the actual drawing itself. So this is a great feature for line art. But I will admit for shading, I did notice I didn't feel as comfortable as I did in Photoshop. So if I chose one of my more blending looking options, I did notice for me that it was a little harder doing blending, but it could just because it's a new software and it was my first time. And I think that if I kind of took my time with the software, it would be, be just as comfortable as Photoshop. So even though this is a vector based software, don't feel like you can't blend or shade just as well as you could in like a Photoshop software. I'm going to go ahead and clear this and give my first impression pros and cons. Mischief was very easy to download and install, and most of all it's affordable, especially to those that may not be able to afford higher end software such as Photoshop. 
It has a very simple layout and design, which made it very easy for me to jump in and feel very comfortable drawing from the start. It has an infinite canvas, which is very different and arguably what Mischief is known for most, and that means no more stress about resizing or worry about the image becoming pixelated. It has the smoothing brush feature, which is something I've wanted to be integrated in Photoshop for a long time now, so it was really fun and a really neat surprise to find out it was included in Mischief. The optional paper background appearance was a neat little surprise to find and was something that I found myself enjoying more than I knew I would. And lastly, the color selection menu is built right in. And as of now, in Photoshop, it's a plugin that you have to download where I use it so often that I find it so important to include. So it was a nice little added bonus that Mischief had it right from the get-go. So now with every software, there's going to be advantages and disadvantages. So now let's talk about the cons of Mischief. Having Mischief be so simplistic, it does cut a lot of the cool features that other softwares have, like the filters or the blend modes, and it really strips it down to the bare essentials of what a drawing software should be. As of now, the brush selection is limited, but that can change. I personally love having the ability to customize my keyboard shortcuts, so not having that made it a little hard to transition, but for the most part, once you get used to where the keyboard shortcuts are, you can be just as fast as any other software. And lastly, the blending may take some time getting used to, and admittedly I think it's a little smoother in Photoshop, but on the opposite end, I think doing line art is much more efficient in Mischief. And that's my first impression of the digital painting software Mischief. And if you're interested, I'll put a link in the description below that will take you to the actual website where you can download a 15 day free trial so that you can try it out for yourself. And this is a fairly new website, it was only developed and released last June, so I expect big things to come from Mischief, so I'm really excited to see what happens to the software within the next few years. So to finish it off, thanks for watching guys.